Well, I've always hated my nose ever since I was about 12 or 13 and I sort of got my adult nose. I always hated it and I was really self-conscious of it. Um, and I knew I always wanted to change it. Um, and when I got to about 18, um, I spoke to my family and I said that I really wanted to get it done. And luckily they were really supportive about it because they all knew that I already, they already knew that I, all, I hated my nose. Um, so I was going to get it done. Um, and then because of financial situations, I couldn't. Um, and then last year, the opportunity arose for me to have it. Um, and I already know, knew that I wanted to go with Dr. Caridis because I'd done all my research and had a consultation with him years before already when I was 18. So this year I had two consultations with him. One was via Zoom. And then the second one, I came in and had a face-to-face -face consultation with him. Um, and I really had like no fears whatsoever going with him because I'd done all my research and I knew that he was sort of one of the best surgeons and I'd seen pictures of his work. So I knew that I wanted to go with him definitely. So I um, was really excited and then uh, the week before I had a coronavirus test to make sure that I was okay to go into the hospital um, and I had MRSA swabs um, before my surgery as well and then the day that I went into hospital um, the hospital was absolutely beautiful inside it was really nice I had my own room and it was very swanky and I felt very spoiled <laughs> Um, and yeah, I really, I didn't have any nerves. I was just purely excited. Um, and I filled out some forms beforehand. Um, some of which were for Arnica tablets, which I took the week afterwards to help with swelling, which I think really helped. Um, and then I went down into the theater and had the local anesthetic and woke up. Um, got given some painkillers and I was actually surprised at how the pain wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I came back to the room and just spent the night there in the morning. I had a bit of pain and discomfort but it wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then at about six o'clock in the morning they removed the I can't remember what they're called, but they're kind of like tampons that are in your nose and your nostrils. So they took those out and that was probably the most painful part about it, but they're constantly um, asking how the pain is and offering you pain relief, so it wasn't too bad. And then the next morning I had a nice breakfast in the hospital and I went home with my mum and she looked after me for a week and I actually had minimal swelling and bruising as well. My cheeks got a bit swollen for a week, but my eyes weren't very bruised. I only had a tiny bit of yellow bruising around them, which was um, surprising. And after a week, I went back and had the cast taken off. And I was so nervous the night before. I actually had a little breakdown with my mum. I was so... I was panicking because I'd wanted it done for so long I thought oh my goodness what if I don't like it so I had a freak out um and then the next day I went down and the nurse Romy who was super helpful she was in contact with me 24 7 gave me her personal phone number and said just message me anytime you like she was so helpful um she removed the spint for me which was just held on with some tape and then said well there you go it's taken off you can walk over in the coat in the mirror now and I was so nervous I was shaking and and then I was just in complete disbelief and I kept saying oh my gosh that's not my nose um because the bump's completely gone and I'm just so happy um I completely love my new nose and I wish I'd done it sooner if anything it's the best thing that's ever happened to me and it's definitely changed my whole life my confidence and yeah I'm so glad that I did it